Welcome to the final episode and Christmas special of Cooking with Bobby. Today my final guest is Mark. Hello Bobby. Hello Mark. And today we're going to be cooking? We're going to be cooking roast dinner. Ooh. So we've cheated slightly, we're going to be doing roast chicken, but the same is applicable to roast turkey and we're going to do some roast potatoes, some vegetables and some gravy. Oh, fantastic. Okay, so obviously you can choose your own selection of vegetables for this. You've got with you... We've gone with parsnips because they're on offer, but you can go for whatever you like. We're going to start with the chicken because that's going to take the longest and the first thing you want to do is to preheat the oven to 180 degrees C. Then we're going to get the chicken and we're going to take it out of its bag. There we go, out it comes. Oops. And we'll put, that can just go there. We're going to put the chicken in the roasting tray. Okay. Now this chicken doesn't come with giblets, but you do need to be careful because if it's got giblets in the bottom, then you need to take them out because they come in a plastic bag and if you put it in the oven, the plastic will melt. Oh, okay. We're going to stick an onion in our chicken to give it some flavour. So we need to chop the ends off the onion. That's not a desperately sharp knife. So once you've taken the outside layer off, if you just cut a big X in one side and the same on the other side, you don't want to go all the way through. Okay. Why, do, why do you want to cut an X? It lets the flavour out. Oh, and then we're going to stick... You're just going to pop the whole onion? We're just going to pop the whole oh, onion okay. into there. Right, we'll we'll go in. There, you there go. we go. Okay. And that's gone in. And then that entire thing wants to go in the oven, which as you can see, the light's gone off, so it's preheated to 180 degrees. Uh, how long do we want to leave it that in? It wants to go in the oven for an hour per kilogram. And that chicken is a kilogram and a half, so it wants to be in there for about an hour and a half. Okay, so our chicken is roasting in the oven. What do we need to do next? Well, we're going to do the vegetables next, and the potatoes are going to take slightly longer than the parsnips because they need to be part-boiled. Um, what sort of potatoes have you got? So These are potatoes. King Edward potatoes. They're specifically designed for roasting, but you can uh, use pretty much any potato. Okay. That'll do. That'll do. Do you want me to take a couple? Yep. So the first thing we're going to do is peel them. Okay. And then just work your way around the potato, being careful not to cut yourself. I've just finished off with this potato. You mentioned that we're going to part boil them. Yes, we are. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to boil them. But before we do that, we want to chop them up. We want them all to be roughly the same size so they cook at roughly the same speed. And I guess that's about the size we're aiming for. Okay, so we're cutting them into chunks, not into slices. We're cutting them into chunks, and some potatoes will probably end up in two bits, some in three, some in four. Depends on the size. It doesn't need to be exact, but you want to make them all roughly the same size so they cook at roughly the same rate. I was going to say, it seems I've got some a bit bigger potatoes than you. And then all of them want to go in that saucepan. Okay. And then we need to boil the kettle. Okay. Okay, so we're going to turn the hob on. What sort of temperature do you want? You want it on reasonably hot because you want the potatoes to boil while they're on. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to peel the parsnips. Okay. And we want to peel around the parsnips, chop the top off, chop the bottom off, and then chop chop them up into reasonable sized chunks as well. So the kettle's boiled and we're going to put the potatoes on. Okay. Let's stick them on the hob that we switched on. So how much do you want to fill up the pan? You want to just cover the potatoes. So how long do you want to leave the potatoes on for? You want to leave the potatoes on until they're just soft when you stick a fork in them. You don't want them to be properly boiled because they're going to go in the oven. So with parsnips we're just going to peel them all the way along and then chop off the top and the bottom. Obviously you can buy your pre-made honey roast parsnips and stuff like that from Tesco. You can, but that's far more expensive than doing it yourself. And um, why would you not want to do it yourself when cooking is so much fun? Okay, so I want to slice off the end and slice Yes, off you want to slice off both ends. Okay. Uh, how do I want to cut the rest of this? Again, you want to cut them so all the bits are roughly the same size. So I'd cut yours probably down the middle. Down the middle? Yeah, down the middle both ways. Are these just going on their own oven tray? They're going on their own oven tray. Okay. And with the help of the oil and the trusty paintbrush, although if you don't have that you can use a spoon or a fork, we're going to try and cover them all in oil. So if we pour a bit in the corner, okay. you can then paint all the vegetables. All right, can I give that a go? Yep, and with the help of either a fork or your fingers you need to turn them all over so you get the bottoms as well. Oh, okay, so you want to paint? Like yeah, you want to paint the entire way around. And you, we've got vegetable oil but you can use sunflower oil, olive oil, it's up to you. To just make sure they're completely glazed. Yes. Glazed, that's a good word. All right, word of the day. And we'll want that again in a minute for the potatoes. Okay, so the potatoes are almost done. The potatoes are almost done. 
The way to tell is if you poke them with a fork, you want the fork to go in a little way, but not the whole way through. So that's just about perfect. So we're going to turn the hob off and take the potatoes off the heat. And then with the help of a sieve or a colander, we're going to go and drain them. Okay. Do you want to sort of spread them out across the dish? Yeah, we want to spread those out so they all get cooked. Okay. Yes, they will be hot. They've just come off the heat. There you go, if you want to paint those, they want a nice thick coat. Okay, now we're going to put these in the oven and they both want to go in the oven for about 45-50 minutes. Okay, that's on the same temperature as the chicken. That's at the same temperature as the chicken. Okay. The chicken has been in the oven for about an hour now, so what are we going to do now? We're going to take it out and we're going to baste it with a basting brush, so we're going to take the chicken juice and we're going to paint that over the top. And we're also going to take the vegetables out and do the same with them with the oil from earlier. Okay. So you're just pasting over the top of the chicken yeah, with the juices? Paste the chicken with the juices and that keeps it nice and moist. So does this stop it from drying out? Yeah, exactly. This stops it drying out. Okay. Okay, so at this point the veg has been in sort of 20 minutes, half an hour? Yeah, exactly. The vegetables have been in for about 20 minutes. Okay, so how long's the chicken been in now? The chicken's been in for about an hour and a half and it should be ready. Okay. So let's get it out of the oven. So how can you tell if it's ready? You want to check that the juices are running clear. If they're running red, it's not yet cooked. So if we stick a fork in and then check, and you can see the juices coming out, they're all clear, they're not red, they're running yep. down the side of the skin. And then we want to drain the juice out of the inside. So that's the inside of a chicken, just onto yeah, the tray? Yeah, we're just draining the juices out onto the tray. There we go, and that'll be used for gravy in a moment. And then we want to wrap this in tinfoil, so if you get some tinfoil, I'll put the chicken down on that. There is the chicken, and you want to wrap it nice and tightly in tinfoil. This is only say to lay it to rest yeah. for a few minutes, 10 minutes or so. Yeah, so this allows the skin to relax, and it'll be a lot more tender if you do that. Okay. And that's of course quite hot, so we'll leave that for sort of 15, 20 minutes. Final step of cooking this is we're going to do some gravy. We are indeed. The chicken is sat resting, the vegetables are just finishing off in the oven, and we're going to make the gravy. So this over here is the meat juice from the chicken, it's just what came out of it as it cooked. And we're going to add some corn flour, and then we're going to make gravy. Okay. Wow. We are going to add some corn flour, we want to add about a teaspoon. There we are, one slightly heaped teaspoon. And then we want some water from our just boiled kettle. And if you mix that up, Okay, so how's that looking? That is looking good, there's no lumps. That's yep. perfect, oops, Sorry, that's less perfect. <laughs> um, and the hob will take a little while to warm up, but we're gonna add that into here. And then with a wooden spoon, you need to stir it. Corn flour you need to cook. Yeah, I've switched the hob on. Um, it's not heating up desperately fast, but it'll get there. Well, would you like to do the honours and carve the chicken, Bobby? I would love to give it a go. Where's I have no idea how sort. to carve chicken. Let's take that off the heat. So if I lift this up and then we get the um, lift this off the tin foil onto here, we need to uh, catch the juice as this comes off. Whoa, 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 whoa! No, no. We want to catch the juice and put it in there. Okay. We don't want it to go all over the table. Okay. So first thing you want to do is take the onion out. There is the onion. So if we split. We stick that on the plate to get it out of the way. Here we go, there are some parsnips. Oh, they look gorgeous. So. It smells fantastic. There come some potatoes. So your vegetables are going to look done basically when they're mostly brown? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, okay. um, you'll be able to feel if you stick a fork in them. And then we need to carve this chicken. Okay. So, the easiest way to do that, if you stick a fork in it, fork in the top. you work your way down one side, like this. So essentially you take slices? Yeah, we're That's taking cool. slices off. And I won't carve all of it now, because that'll take us ages. But you want to do slices down that way, slices down that way. Okay. And then if you go in and get the joints, you can take off the two wings and the two legs. So, in true Christmas fashion, we have a Christmas cracker. Ah! Oh. How do you stop a skunk smelling? 
Don't know. Hold his nose. Oh, so bad. Let's eat. Okay. Should we take a bite and see if it's not even good? Oh, this chicken looks nice. Mmm. Mmm. That's really tender. Mm. So, this is the last episode of the season, and be sure to check out the outtakes reel next week. I'm Bobby, this is Mark, and from everyone at Stag TV, a very Merry Christmas. Yeah.